Hi everyone, I'm Simon, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about, in my opinion, what you need financially to be able to move and retire to Thailand. I'm going to be talking about a 50 year old man. I believe there's more single men coming to Thailand than women to retire. Maybe the guys are looking for their weather, the climate, the food, change of scenery, get away from their own country, maybe looking for an Asian beauty to be a partner. But whatever it is that draws people here, we're, we're going to say that it's a guy, it's 50 years old, he's 50 years old, and in my opinion, what finances does he need as a bare minimum to be able to get on that plane and come here and retire? The visa is one of the most important things. And to get a retirement extension here in Thailand or to get a retirement visa in your own country, the financial requirements for that alone is 800,000 Thai baht currently in June 2019 in a Thai bank account for a few months before you apply. So that gives you a benchmark. You cannot even consider coming here at 50, in my opinion, unless you've got that lump sum. Yes, you could survive on tourist visas for a while. You could do an education visa. Maybe there's some other ones. Comments below. This video, as I said, is my opinion from my experience and from what I've researched. Some of you have far more experience than I have and far more knowledge. Share that, share that knowledge with us, comments below, put me right where I go wrong, if I go wrong, and um, add in any of your thoughts to the, to the financial requirements. So 800,000 Thai baht, you also need a bit of a buffer. Okay, you could probably get away with a couple of hundred thousand baht. So let's say you've got a million Thai baht. If I remember, I'll put the numbers here, but 25,000 pounds, 28,000 American dollars, 50,000 Australian Canadian dollars that you need to place in a Thai bank account. Now, quite a few people say, oh, can you get interest on that? Yes, you can. 1.5% interest on a fixed bank savings account is currently available here. I've put my um, money into I've locked it into that account 1.5% a year. It's not great, but it's something. Bangkok Bank. You need 1 million Thai bars. Put that here in Thailand. Then you need an income to live on. Now, at 50 years old, you're not of retirement age, unless you're really fortunate and you've got a good private pension. So quite often, guys will be landing here with an income from whatever work they're doing, whether it's online or businesses back home. Quite often it's rental from properties where they paid the mortgage off or they've got properties that they've got a portfolio and they've got an income coming in and it's transferable through to Thailand. In my opinion, 45,000 Thai baht a month is the minimum. And why 45? Okay, health insurance, and it's all over the Thailand um, scene, is so important. If you've got health insurance from your country, brilliant. But if you haven't, five, at 50 years old, 5,000 Thai baht a month, so 60,000 Thai baht a year, will get you a very, very good health insurance package. And it will cover pretty much everything. That's double what I'm paying, and I'm 56. So at 50, 60,000 Thai baht would get you a fabulous policy, I'm sure. So that's why I'm saying 45,000 a month. That leaves you then, visa sorted, 1,900 baht a year for that visa, 90 day reporting within inside Thailand. No need to leave the country. 5,000 baht a month for health insurance. That leaves you 40,000 Thai baht a month to live. And that 40,000 Thai baht is like opening a can of worms. 
with this statement. However, for 40,000 Thai baht a month, you have got to have somewhere to sleep, you need food, and you need liquid, drinks. That's it. You can live if with those. So you can get a room. It might be a four meter square room for a few thousand baht a month, depending where you go in Thailand. Food is very cheap if you eat Thai food. A couple of hundred baht a day. So your 40,000 baht is adequate. Now, when I said retiring to Thailand, living in Thailand, there is the can of worms. Because is it living on that amount of money? Well, every one of you is different. Every person is different. Ian has proved it from our channel that he can live on a very low amount of money every month and still have money left over to give to charities and things. It all depends on what you want in life in a retirement situation. Some people want to come to Thailand for maybe one year, two years, and then move on to other Asian countries. Maybe you want to travel around and see all of Thailand. Well, I believe on 40,000 baht a month, you can travel around, but you've got to be very careful with your money and you'll end up on public transports. But 40,000 Thai baht a month is not living to a standard that you maybe you're used to, the quality of life. But the quality of life here is great. So many people will have a lot more money and can live in different lifestyles. Um, but at 40,000 Thai baht a month, you can live comfortably. Now, you've got to put a caveat in here. If you decide to live in the entertainment zones around the country, temptations are high and you can end up drinking a lot. You can end up taking partners. And at that point, you start doing that, your budget is blown. You're not going to, as soon as you start part-time girlfriends, that budget is not going to, it's just not going to be enough. If you're planning to retire here and get yourself a tight partner, 45,000 baht a month, it will not be enough. There is no way it'll be enough because you'll be supporting a new partner. You're going to need to finance them and possibly their family and their bills. <sighs> Maybe you could just do it, but you'll be eating bread and butter and drinking water. Uh, and you'll be living in an even smaller room with just a fan. It's possible. It's doable. But as so many of you will comment, that's not living. That's not retiring. The idea of retiring is to finish work and take things easy and relax. Maybe take up some of your hobbies throughout your life that you've enjoyed and start again with them. Travelling around Thailand can be cheap. Staying in cheaper hotels, you can do it in your budget, but you couldn't stay in a hotel every night of the month on your budget. You could probably have a few days every month traveling and then base yourself in one place to save money. I have the emails and questions about this every week. People are saying, is this enough money to live? Is this enough money? And as I said, it's a debate. We've spoken about this many times on videos, the cost of living. Providing you're healthy, you've got no other costs that, for medical stuff or prescriptions or anything expensive like that. You can do it. You can, 45,000, Thai baht a month, million baht in the bank. I, you can do it. You can get on that plane. If you can get more of an income, then that's when life starts getting better and better here for you. Some people, a lot of money, can live like kings here. A higher, much higher uh, standard of living, I would say, here than in some countries for the equivalent money. The exchange rates are up and down, and it's not brilliant at the moment, but it's still... At this moment in 2019, it is still doable. Going forward, we don't know what's going to happen with exchange rates, what's going to happen with visa requirements, health insurance requirements, 
are things going to change? Possibly. Time will tell. So there you go. In my opinion, 1 million baht, Thai bank account, 45,000 baht a month income. You can retire to Thailand. Your thoughts? As always, put them down below. Am I way off? I don't think so. I think that's a realistic numbers. But if you haven't got that million Thai baht to go in the bank account or 800,000 Thai baht, then it's if things change with visa requirements, it's possibly not going to be a long retirement for you in this country. There we go. I'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to your comments. Bye for now.